What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd, bringing you practical and actionable dating advice that really works. Today we're gonna to be talking about seven places to meet women that aren't bars and clubs. Now, if you're watching my channel, you're probably gonna love this topic because I know a lot of you don't like going out to bars and clubs. And I can relate to this a lot because I used to not be very good at going out to bars and uh, picking up girls. So now that I'm really good at doing that, um, even though I'm really good at doing that there, I still like the places that I'm going to give you in this video. So if you don't like going out to bars and clubs, or even if you do like going out to bars and clubs, I still think you're gonna get a lot out of this video. So the first place that I'm gonna give you guys is number one, bookstores, okay? Bookstores are really good for meeting women because there's a lot of women in the bookstores. A lot more women read books than men do, especially when it comes to fiction. I think a lot of women tend to read a lot more fiction uh, than men do, especially when it comes to you know a book that you can flip through. So a lot of times what I would do is I would you know walk into a bookstore and it was very, very easy to start a conversation with a girl who, who was there reading a book or something like that because all you have to ask is, what are you reading? Very easy way to start the conversation. Um, and a lot of times what I would do is I would walk to the aisles of books that you know I tend to read in my spare time, like uh, stuff on personal development. So if I would go to the personal development aisle and I would see a cute girl there, I would just start talking to her about what kind of authors she's into or you know what kind of stuff she likes to listen to. You know, like, oh, are you into Tony Robbins too? Okay, cool, yeah, me too, I love Tony Robbins. Did you see the documentary on Netflix? You know, very easy to start a conversation from that, get a phone number, and then maybe hang out later. The second thing that I'm gonna give you is outside side the bar or the club. Now, if you don't like going into the bar or the club, I know it can get very loud, noisy, there's a lot of people drunk spilling drinks on you, there's a lot of superficial stuff going on. If you don't like being there, you can always hang out outside of the club or a bar, which is usually packed full of people depending on the club that you go to. And I like that area too, because it doesn't have the same kind of snobbery or status that uh, a lot of people in the club tend to look up to. So it's a great place to, to meet people there in a kind of more organic, more natural fashion. Um, and a lot of times you'll meet a lot of women that are you know, looking for some else to go to, some other place that's not this club and they don't know where to go. And if you walk in, you know the area really well, well then you could probably lead them to somewhere good. And it's a very easy way to start a conversation um, and then you know, get a girl into an Uber uh, and go to some other locations. So uh, I love going out to bars and clubs, but I also will hang around outside of the bar and club um, as well too. Place number three is volunteer events. Volunteer events are really great. Another area that I think is mostly dominated by females. Women tend to do a lot of caring, like community service type activities that a lot of men um, just you know aren't interested in. So if you join a group, a good group, you're probably gonna be surrounded by a lot of cute girls and you're gonna be one of the only guys there. This is a great position for you to be in because it's gonna raise your stock a lot more than it would <laughs> in a bar or a club where there are usually way more guys than girls, especially if you live in a place like San Francisco. <laughs> So in these areas, what you're going to be doing is you maybe might go out and you pick up trash or something like that, or help um, you know organize you know uh, some project that they have going on. You know whatever it is, find something that you like doing and find a group that you're going to work well with. So if you're doing it to meet women, make sure that there are women there that you like to talk to. You know not all volunteer groups are the same. So a lot of guys get discouraged when I tell them the volunteer groups. Um, because they go to one that's not very good. So I would try and go to like three or four, and one of those is gonna be phenomenal because like I said, you know, these are mostly female dominated activities. If they see you doing something that's helping other people, you know, that's a great place to meet people. And we're kind of, a, as humans, we're very tribal. And so we tend to think of people within, you know, their status within the group or something like that. So if you're one of the only guys, you're gonna be looking really good in that area. And also too, if you like doing that sort of activity and you like helping people out in whatever it is you're doing and you get a position of authority, oh my goodness, that's, that's probably one of the best positions that you can be in is being kind of leader of a group, especially a group that's helping people. Place number four is parks. Parks are a great place to meet, meet women, especially on like a sunny day or something like that. Um, you know, in San Francisco, they have a great one called Dolores Park where everybody pretty much gets there on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday or something like that. During the day, they kind of bring out a blanket, get some wine, everyone starts talking to each other. It's a very, very easy place to meet women. But even on those days where there's not, you know, crazy events going on, um, there's usually people just hanging out, relaxing, and it's very easy to start a conversation with somebody, <laughs> especially if you have a cute looking dog because a lot of other people will have their dogs too. You can talk about the dogs and it just becomes a very easy way to meet women through that. So bonus, bonus points if you have a dog, but even if you don't, I've you know talked to and gotten plenty of dates and numbers um, from parks in general. 
Place number five is improv classes. I highly recommend improv classes to all of my students and clients because I believe that improv classes is not just a great place to meet women, but it's also a great place to build the necessary skills that you are going to use in order to meet women. I mean, you have to think of stuff on the fly. It teaches you how to be funny, how to be silly, have humor, have confidence in your own ability, animate your body a lot more. These are all very good skills for flirting, for talking to women. Um, but also too, improv classes do tend to have more women than men. Um, um, and a lot of these people tend to be young. So if you find a good improv group, you're gonna be meeting a lot of cute girls. And it's almost like, like a lot of the games that you do are pretty much like icebreakers that you would do at like some sort of uh, speed dating event or something like that. They're really fun, they're really simple. It gets you to know a person organically by them expressing themselves in a silly manner. Um, you're gonna be meeting a lot of cute girls in pretty much the best manner possible. Now, if you are good at improv and you start you know, doing well and you be, you're in like a show or something like that you, where you perform in front of a bunch other people that is another event where it's just like that's one of the most attractive places that you can be in which is like expressing yourself showing your personality your artistic quality um, in front of a large group of people very very attractive very good spot for a single guy Place number six is co-ed sports. Although co-ed sports probably has the worst ratio out of all the places that I'm giving you, um, it's one of the places I've been the most successful at. And the reason why was because I'm really, really good at soccer. And so when I joined a sports team, like a co-ed team, although there was mostly like, I'd say it was probably like 60, 70% guys, um, probably around 70%, 70% guys, I still did really well because I was seen as a leader on the team when I came in. Like people kind of looked up to me because uh, I was, you know, had a lot of skill. I knew what I was doing. I knew how to play the game very well. And, and that put me in a really good position for that 30% of the women that were there. And so even though there wasn't as many women as there were in these, some of these other groups, uh, I ended up sleeping with a good portion of that 30% and some of their friends too because it was just a great place for them to see me kind of in my best light, which is like me demonstrating some sort of skill doing something um, at all also being seen as a leader within that group. So if you're interested in sports, you're good at sports, I highly recommend that you join a co-ed team. Um, it's also a great place to meet friends in general. You know, like a lot of the friends that I have to this day that are some of my best friends, I met through playing intramural soccer. Okay, and the last thing, place number seven <laughs> is uh, basically salsa and dance classes. Like ballroom classes are very, very good for meeting women. I mean, that's why they exist in the first place is kind of a courtship ritual where the man would dance, he would lead the woman, and he would basically try and seduce her that way through dance. Dancing, is kind of a lot like flirting in the modern era. I mean, it, it pretty much is flirting, but it's done physically with the, the way the movements are and the steps and everything. So if you are have any sort of interest in dance classes, I highly recommend that you pick it up because again, unless you live in an area like I did in San Francisco, where it's like almost all dudes, um, you're probably gonna be meeting a lot of women through there and you're gonna be meeting them in a way where they can touch you, where they can feel your body and stuff like that. And it's that's a great place to start from, you know, in terms of, um, being able to start flirting with somebody and connecting with them at a romantic level. I think it's really great. It's also a great place to meet friends too. Hopefully you've seen from this that a lot of the stuff that I picked are weekly group activities. Group activities are really great for meeting women because it's like a common goal that you guys have together. And so it's very easy for you to start a conversation because now you have something to talk about, something that you're doing uh, in common. Uh, not just salsa and dance classes are great. I think rock climbing is great. Uh, I think maybe you can take a surfing class also too, bartending classes. Like think of something, any interest that you have and start doing group activities, group classes with that sort of thing. If you're in these classes though, don't think that you're just gonna walk in and get a bunch of numbers and then leave at the first class. Like that's just, that's not gonna happen, okay? So, um, or it might, but it's very low probability. You wanna walk in and build some sort of skill. Like, so find what you like doing about it or find something that you like doing um, and then continue with that. And that's what's gonna give you the most amount of success, okay? Don't think this is gonna happen, especially if it's like weekly group activities, for you to start having success right away. Like you have to play the long game in this. And the long game done right basically looks like you building up a lot of skill, you meeting people in the group, you have a good sense of rapport, and because you're a well-established person within the group, people are paying attention to you, you're kind of seen as some sort of a leader within the group, and then by the end, when you have some sort of skill, when you're really good, you know, a new person comes into the class, you can teach them the moves, they feel very comfortable with you. Like, this is a really good position for a single guy to be in. And I guarantee you, any girl that's walking into that class, if you're a well-established person within the group, you're gonna be seen as much, much more attractive uh, than you would be in some sort of bar or club type scenario where they, they can't really see any, any of those sides of you. 
So uh, that's what I would recommend for you guys. Um, if you thought of anything else that I didn't include in here, there were some spots, some um, places that I didn't include on purpose, like like yoga studios or um, you know things like that, where although they're super female dominated, I, I just don't think they're very good for, uh, for, for meeting women. Uh, you're kind of seen as a creep, unless you're really good at yoga, then uh, you know, that stuff can work for you, I guess. Um, but if you think of anything else that you think is good, uh, put them in the comments section below. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Basically, I teach guys exi exactly <laughs> how to meet women, not just through these areas, but through other areas too. Um, we work on three aspects, which is basically your lifestyle, your mindset, and the skills that you have to meet women. So if you're working on those three things, you're gonna be very successful when it comes to dating and meeting women. Um, and we focus on all of them very in depth in my program. So if you're interested in that, shoot me an email. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing and come up with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there, y'all.